Hey there, this is Tim from Twice Circled, and welcome to episode 23 of the official Big Pharma video blog. Now, this episode's going to be a little bit different to your normal one. Um, this is actually going to be about modding. So it's something that a few people have had a little play around with since the launch. It's only been a few days, so, you know, early days. But uh, I thought I'd try and get the ball rolling by creating a mod myself for you guys and showing you you know, just how simple it is uh, to dive in and get creating things. So um, you're actually going to be looking at my desktop rather than uh, Big Pharma itself for once. Um, here you go. You should be looking at my desktop now. Um, I'm actually just going to check that because I'm paranoid. Yes, you are. <laughs> Professional as always. So the first step to creating your mod I think is first you're going to want to create a mod folder. So if you haven't, if you're not familiar with it yet, um, then this is where your save games are saved, at least on Windows. Uh, you should be able to find them um, on whichever system you're running on. But um, they'll be in um, your documents folder essentially. So it'll be C users, uh, your username, documents, my games, and then Big Pharma. Okay, and once you go into here, you'll have saves, mods, and maps, and screenshots. Um, I've got a couple of old save folders here. Forget about those. So if you haven't got one yet, create a mods folder. Okay, then go into that mods folder, and here's my existing mods. So uh, these are the ones that are currently available on the website. Uh, if you go to www.bigpharmagame.com, you can go to the modding tab, and you'll be able to see the current ones that are out there. I'll probably add this one that I make today to that. Um... So I'm going to, this new mod I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually going to be adding new cures. So I'm going to say new, in fact, um, the new cures that I'm going to add are going to be within a new cure family called uh, the bone, joints and bones, I'm going to call it. So this is going to be called joints and bones. Okay. Um, so to get started, yeah, I recommend going and downloading one of the example mods from the website. Probably should have done that in this tutorial, but hey, I've not done it. Never mind. Uh, unzip it, copy it and create it. Now, all we actually need to start with is this mod info file. So you should always start with this. This is just a file that um, it's called it's modinfo.data, and it's a file that Big Pharma will look for when you um, when you go into the mods menu. And if it can't find one of these files, it will ignore the folder. Basically, it will say, "Well, that's clearly not a mod." Um, and all it really does is it adds as a kind of yeah as a pointer it says hey this is a mod and it just lets it gives the game a bit more information about the mod it tells it the name and the description so we're going to change these so I'm I'm using notepad plus plus it's my favorite text editor um, I really like it some uh, nice little features macros that sort of stuff um, so um, I should actually mention all of the data files for Big Pharma and for the mods are stored in JSON, which is J-S-O-N, stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a really powerful way of storing data because it lets you do things like nested objects, uh, which I really like, um, and I find it a lot less verbose than things like XML, uh, which can be a bit annoying. Downside is it's very uh, susceptible to typos. So my recommendation is do a lot of copy and paste and change only things that are within quotes and try not to change too many quotes uh, sorry too many too much of the kind of structure and if you do that you should be okay so what you'll notice there if I just go back what I did is like I'm not changing anything all I'm going to change is this text here and I'm leaving the quotes and the commas and the colons and the curly brackets all in the same place so I'm going to select this the mod is called joints and bones and this mod adds a new cure family to the game called joints and bones. Careful um, with quotes when you're working in JSON. Don't use double quotes because it think double quotes are part of the way it kind of um, the structure. You can use a backslash to escape that, but uh, my recommendation is to use single quotes and then you avoid the problem. Um, so yeah, just before we get started. You will run into problems if you try and mod Big Pharma. Um, you will run into typos. It will happen. I recommend using a um, JSON validator. Just search JSON validator into Google and you'll have no trouble finding one. It's a really good way of finding any bugs. Um, always do that before you come to me <laughs> or anybody else. Uh, uh, yeah, that will solve the majority of your problems. So that's our mod data 
sorry, mod info file finished. The next thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to go to the Big Pharma directory. I'm going to the Steam copy here. It doesn't matter what copy of Big Pharma you've got. Modding works exactly the same across all copies. I haven't chosen to integrate Steam Workshop because, to be honest, I don't think it's necessary. I mean, all of the difficulty that comes from creating a mod is in the actual creation of it. Um, and, you know, I think Steam Workshop is an unnecessary way of attaching a game to... Um, the kind of steam system because you know i know people watching this will have bought the game via gog or via direct or humble or whatever or steam and everybody i want to be able to use mods in the exact same way so if you find your big farmer folder and find the game data file this is the original game data file don't change anything in here right because it will mess up the original game it will mess up updating all sorts of stuff don't do it <laughs> um but take a copy of it and we're gonna copy it into the mods folder. You could start by doing this if you want instead of copying one of the others, uh, but then you'd have to add your mod info. And then we're gonna go into that game data folder. Um, we're gonna select everything, gonna copy it, and then we're gonna paste that into our joints and bones mod folder, okay? And then I'm gonna delete that. So you see what I've done here? All I've done is basically taken a copy of game data, it's been renamed joints and bones, and we've added this mod info file, okay? It doesn't really matter how you get to this stage. Where's that mod info file gone? There you go. But uh, you, you need to get to this stage. Now a little bit more information about how mods work. So basically what we're doing is we're taking the game data that Big Pharma runs off and we're editing it. And then by putting it in a mod, we allow the game to kind of safely import it. Um, and if it ever has a problem importing a mod, it will just revert to the vanilla game. So you're very much like safe if you mod in this way rather than changing the original files. The other cool thing about modding like this, modding in you know in the official way like this, is any files that you don't change, you can just omit, and then the original ones will be used. So we're not actually planning on doing anything um, in other languages. So I'm going to get rid of these two um, uh, string files, the uh, German and the French ones. Um, you'll want to keep those around if you're going to do um, stuff for other languages. Uh, and I recommend you do, to be honest, but I'm just not going to do that for simplicity in this tutorial. Um, we're not going to do anything with scenarios or resolutions or research. And in fact, I'm actually going to delete everything except the effects dot data um, yeah I don't think we need any of these um, oh just a point in case you never need the settings folder settings folder is just for a little it's just config dot any sits in there it's um, that uh, file is yeah it's not part of mods so just uh, you can kind of ignore that that's just um, you don't really ever need to do anything with config dot any it lets you set the resolution manually if you want to if if you can't if the, if the game if the resolution you want to play in is not supported uh, in game you can do that so i'm going to delete these so you're left with strings dot strings hyphen en dot data mod info and effects data okay so we're going to start with effects data so we're going to create a new cure family so if you scroll down and if you open that up to your text editor have a little look around um you'll see all of the cures that you all know from the game, as well as actually all the side effects. Uh, if we go down here, we've got nausea, pins and needles, headaches. So what we're gonna do is delete nearly all of these. Uh, we're gonna just keep one set of them. Um, which set should we start from? It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna just choose this um, relaxants one because we're, this cure family we're creating has only got three cures in it. So we might as well just start with that. Uh, and then I'm going to copy that. So, you know, I've done, I'm doing control C, but I thought I'd do it with the menu there just so you could see what I was doing. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Um, you can organize this however you want. The order does not matter. Um, I, you know, I should go back. I've gone over that a little bit quickly. I, I, I want to be very clear about what you need to copy. So in the original file, there's a few comments which help you see, um, where was it, relaxant, where we're going for. So this is the start of the relaxant cure family. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to copy, um, basically the effects.data is just a list of all the effects. And you want to copy entire effects, including the comma at the end of them. It's really important that you do this. If you miss a single comma, then it, will, it won't like it. Okay, so um, it should be pretty clear to you, I think, you know, it basically, if you want to copy the entire family, it's just like the stuff that's between these. These are the comments, right? So you can use uh, double forward slash to comment out any line, kind of useful. Um, so I'm going to select all this, pay, copy it, I'm going to scroll to the bottom. You can put this just after the cures, but I've decided to put it at the very bottom. Um, something to watch out for, the last item in this um, list, okay, 
um, needs to have a comma on it. Uh, so this is this is the original last item. It's catalyst level five. It's paralysis. I'm going to add a comma to that, and then I'm actually going to remove the comma off here. I'm going to write, you know, uh, added in a comment, added in mod. Okay, and then I'm going to save it. So now we've currently got a second family of relaxants. Now we don't want that. We're going to actually change the name of this, and we're going to call this uh, joints and bones. Joints and bones. And uh, this family tag that tells us tells the game that these cures are all going to be one after another in the cure tech tree in the on the cure tab. So you want to give them all the same one. And these IDs uh, that's just the name that it's internally given, um, which is then used to look up the display text, which is in strings hyphen en dot data, which is that other file that we kept. I'll talk to you a little bit more about that later. So let's give these some IDs. So we're going to go for um, an anti-inflammatory uh, double M. Urgh. Luckily, I think this actually has a dictionary. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, anti-inflammatory. Um, I wouldn't include spaces. Y you can include spaces in the display text. I wouldn't bother including them in the kind of in the IDs. Then we're going to go for arthritis, and then we're going to go for osteoporosis okay um, that's actually our basic effects set up I'm just gonna save that file again um, next all that's left is changing the way the gameplay actually kind of works um, the key um, numbers are you got level which uh, determines the upgrade level of the cure so level naught cures can be um, found in ingredients everything above, above that has to be upgraded so you've got level one and level two um, I will always you know you should always just have every single step included otherwise you won't be able to upgrade between them I, I'm not even sure what happens if you miss out a level one and you go straight from naught to two I, I really don't <laughs> uh, I wouldn't do it it will probably cause errors um, you know this is something I've got to say about the mod system the game is designed to work with the original data and it's up to you as a modder to work out how to make it work um, it's not up to me to um, to support every single possible combination that you could do with these data files because honestly it'd be impossible for me to do that so you're gonna have to work within the constraints of the game I think it's pretty damn flexible what you can do with this stuff um, you know I'll let you be the judge uh, what you think so that's the level we're gonna leave those the same then we've got sensitivity. This determines how quickly this cure will become saturated. Uh, we're working off an antihistamine, which is a 2100 sensitivity. The higher the number, um, it, this is actually a bit of a, a legacy word, I've got to say, sensitivity. It, a better word would be saturation limit, but it's been in the game for a long time. Um, sensitivity, um, actually now, the lower the sensitivity is, the more sensitive it is. So it's a bit confusing. The way to think of this is the saturation level. So the higher it is, the higher, the more you have to supply before it becomes saturated. So, and uh, anti-inflammatory, it's probably about the same as a uh, as an antihistamine, arthritis. You know, I kind of like um, the sensitivity values we've got. I might drop the osteoporosis down to kind of 500. I don't know. Um, it's, it's pretty common. Um, hmm, 600, why not? Um, so yeah, it's currently very similar to the, what we've already got, but we can, we can change things. Um, we've got contraction rate. Most of the time you can ignore this, but um, you can add cyclical things. Antihistamine is a, a bit cyclical. Um, it, it's got a higher demand in summer. Um, I'm going to delete this because these aren't cyclical cures. Help rate. This is the chance, the base chance that a when you sell it at 100% strength, it um, successfully treats someone. So for an anti-inflammatory, you know, you want a relatively high help rate, health rate. Let's just mix it up. Let's go for 75. For arthritis, um, we're going to go for 50. For osteoporosis, we're going to go 50 again. You know, what about cure rate? So a cure rate is how often it permanently cures the uh, the person. Um, you know, should, we, should arthritis and osteoporosis be permanently curable? I think so, but they should have very low cure rates. I think we'll go for five on both of them. Um, so it will only happen very slowly. And then we've got to look at base values. Now, before you do base values, I actually recommend you look at reactions and boundaries. So boundary is the active concentration range. Reaction is the upgrade concentration range. And 
um, whether it needs a catalyst or a machine. Machine here shows you how to define whether there's a machine change. Uh, combine is how you define whether there's a catalyst required. Now what I thought I'd do with this one is I wanted to make a cure tree which you could make completely with evaporators and dissolvers. So let's say you upgrade from anti-inflammatory to arthritis using an evaporator and then you upgrade from arthritis to osteoporosis using a dissolver. We're going to remove the catalyst component, so you could actually do this from the very, very beginning of the game if you find that first ingredient, but what we're going to do to make it harder is we're going to force the player to have a lot, uh, a big concentration change um, in order to satisfy the upgrade component, uh, the upgrade concentration requirement. A little bit more housekeeping, the product is the, the ID of the thing that it turns into. So you just need to kind of copy and paste these. So osteoporosis is the product of our arthritis and arthritis is the product of our anti-inflammatory. So let's have another look over this. So this is upgrade, machine evaporator, product arthritis, concentration requirement. Now ingredients when they spawn, the concentration is always um, one or two away from where the cure requires it to be. So we actually know this is going to either spawn with zero, one, um, or 9 and 10. Um, let's actually make it so this is, let's put it in the middle, let's have like a 5, no let's go for like a 7 to 13 required concentration um, and then where are we going to put this? Mm, now you see we could be really unfair, if we put this up the high end it means that if it's if, if the ingredient spawns with a low concentration it's going to be much harder to do. Go on, why not? Let's, 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 let's make it fun. So we'll go for 16 to 20 to upgrade it once. Once that's upgraded we know that's going to be um, around kind of quite a high concentration and let's say you've got to bring it all the way down to um, 10 to 13 to make it active makes it make it 9 to 13. To upgrade it again you've got to go way past that and actually come all the way down to um, 5 to 10. Um, so you've got to drop down 7 concentration steps. Uh, let's actually go 4 to 9. 7 uh, or 8 concentration steps before you're going to be able to upgrade it again. And then once you upgrade this with the dissolver it's going to go down once. So it's going to be around 8 we expect uh, and then you're going to have to take it all the way back up to um, 16 to 20. Let's actually make it so you can upgrade this at 15 and then I'm going to drop these by one more. Okay, um, now we've got to talk about base values. Now this is where the balance comes into the game. You've got to think about a good base value for that based on your the sensitivity you've chosen and the amount of concentration that you're forcing the player to change at, as they upgrade these things. So uh, rule of thumb is a concentration change costs about 10 to do. So we're going to have to go kind of uh, only up a couple actually. Oh, I see that's actually a little bit easy. Um, you know, what, I'm going to have to lower this. Let's go down to, let's go 9, let's make it really tight. 9 to 11, no, 8 to 11. So this is going to probably have to go kind of up a couple to get to here um, and then down by quite a lot. By, um, wow, that's a really big jump. Yeah, so this isn't too bad. I think I think about 220 is probably about right to go up to arthritis. Maybe 210 because it's it's quite a low level machine that you need. Um, and then this next jump is actually going to be a lot harder to get to this one because it's such a big concentration swing. You need to go down um, seven, eight. So you're going to have to add about 80 to that. I think this is probably, no, not 420, about 320. Bearing in mind that you only need dissolvers and evaporators to get up there, we can't make this too, uh, too high value. Let's compare this to other level free cures. So I'm going to scroll up here. Appetite suppressant 475, uh, anti-malarial 320, but it's got a massive sensitivity, uh, or very low sensitivity limit, if you like. 455, four, oh, uh, no. Relaxant is 624. Bipolar, yeah, yeah, so this is definitely low, yeah, at 320. So let's give that a go, all right? And that is it. That is our first um, set of new cures that we've added. Now, the next step, if we go back to our mod and open up strings again, is to add the necessary um, display text in every language that you want to support uh, for this. Now, for new effects, there's two of them. Now, we can actually test this out by just choosing a different uh, a different cure name. So I've gone for asthma. We can see that there's this one. Um, in fact, no, let's do it the way we did it before. Actually, that's simpler, sorry. Let's, um, 
find the relaxant set, okay? So remember we copy the relaxant? Um, let's copy those again, scroll to the bottom, paste it down here, and we, again we'll write added in mod. Um, in fact, we're going to delete every other string, so let's just put that right at the very bottom of the file. Okay. Remember again, you need to leave off the final comma. Um, you need to add the final comma to what was at the end, although we're going to delete it so it doesn't matter. So, uh, we go back to our effects. The family name is Joints and Bones. You just have to follow the patterns, okay? So instead of Relaxant's title, we've got Joints and Bones title. Joints and Bones. And then we're just going to copy our little IDs across. Anti-inflammatory. Arthritis. And osteoporosis. And then we're going to write it out in full. Anti inflammatory. Again, please auto correct for me. Um, arthritis. Hopefully I spelt that right. Osteoporosis. Okay. Um, and then the other one, what we got to do is there's another one which is the brand. So this is the name that appears on the actual cure. And then you've got this other one which is brand underscore. Um, which is um, what it says when you go to the company tab and hover over the cure rating. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom, I've copied those three again, and we've got anti-inflammatory. Again, you want to just follow the pattern, all right? So if it's got brand in front of it, and when um, this is a little code that basically means it's going to insert a number there. So we're going to go for this many um, inflammations soothe. Right? You, you get how it works? Arthritis, um, um, arthritis, uh, problems helped. <laughs> Not my best. <laughs> um, porous bones, um, strengthened. Right? That is not how you spell strengthened. Okay, and then we got to remove the comma on the final one. I'm going to actually add the comma back before on this one. It's something you're just going to have to get used to, okay? And then we're actually going to delete everything else because you don't actually need other, uh, any of the rest. Now, the way the strings fold, uh, file works is a bit different. You don't need to include everything. It will just overwrite any of the codes that you include. See these codes? This is basically a, a little tag that the game uses to, um, to know... Um, yeah, what text to write. Um, in fact, I like to do one other little thing on all, most of my mods, um, and that's replace the loading text. So we've got this loading text. This appears at the very beginning of the game. So let's just delete. Let's copy that. Put that at the bottom. And instead of loading, it's going to say bones and joints. Okay, and then we select the rest of it. Oh my gosh. Let's do some page up. Okay. And this is what you want to have left, okay? So this little square bracket, that's opening an array. And then inside this is a list of these codes, okay? Each one needs to have a comma on the end. Make sure you don't mess around with the brackets, okay? Just like always use copy and paste, okay? And if, if it doesn't work, put it in a JSON validator. And then we're going to save. Um, and there we go. We have our mod files, okay? Um, so I just want to make this really clear. With, the effect, with any other fo uh, file that's not a strings data file, you need to include the whole thing. So unless you want to remove all the other effects, you need to include those two, okay? It's just the way it is, it's to stop clashes, it's just all or nothing. With the strings, it's much easier just to, uh, to have the ones that you're replacing, okay? Uh, and that's it, okay? And our mod's already in the right place, so we just leave it there. And um, now I'm going to jump into the game, and um, we'll, we'll see if the mod loads correctly. Um, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so here we are in the game. Um, so we're going to jump to the mods uh, menu. And here's our mod, Joints and Bones. This mod adds a new cure family to the game called Joints and Bones. Ha! <laughs> had no idea. And we click load. We start the game with this mod installed. We click yes. You'll notice that it said the, the loading text had... Uh, was it, was it bones and joints and joints and bones? I can't remember which way around it was, but it had that, so that's kind of proof that the mod is installed. And um, I I don't know what I'm going to do. I would like to just kind of... 
I'm actually going to play this this scenario, uh, this mod properly in a in a new video. I'm going to separate it into over across two vlogs uh, because I think this vlog's already been long enough. Um, but I just want to prove that it really did work, just to give you guys a kind of sense of closure. I think probably the best way is to jump into a free build. Okay, I'm going to hop in. Oh, I love you, Chan. <laughs> Let's go to the Cures family. I, but I haven't tested this. I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, sexual health. Joints and bones! Chip, 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 chip. Uh, look at this. Like, I just made this. Like, literally, all I've done is gone straight into the game and then just started recording again. I switched over the fraps because I prefer it for um, recording in games. It looks better. Um, joints and bones. Anti-inflammatory. Use the evaporator, arthritis, then use the dissolver. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to... You know, yeah, I actually feel a bit silly now. I shouldn't have mentioned it. I think I'm not going to do another vlog. This is this will be enough. I, I'm just going to actually show you... I'm going to make a... Um, I'm going to make a single line where I upgrade it all the way. Um, and that'll do. You know, I don't think I need to play an entire level just with this one cure family. I mean, because I'm probably not even going to get to it. So, uh, I'll j you know, just show that it works. So, look, we've been really unlucky. We actually have to get all the way up to 15 before we can uh, upgrade this. Um, now, uh, I'm going to just for fun do it as if this was the very first ingredient that I found. And I'm going to do it with just evaporators. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many do we have to do? <laughs> 9, 10. Oh my word. Oops. And then once we get to 50, we have to use another evaporator. Okay. Man, evaporators are tough, huh? Um, this would be really interesting. Oops, I think... I think um, it's actually a really nice idea to go and um, jump into a free build once you create a new... Um, cure because to be honest you want to check the profitability of it okay and actually in free build you can so um, god this is going to take a while let's put it on to fast mode uh, and once that upgrades we will then have to get it down to 30 no we have to get it to 8 if we want to use a dissolver on it oh boy down to 8 from 16 that's 8 dissolvers 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, and then one more, I believe. Oh wow! I mean, at least dissolvers are kind of easier. I think we might have got the profitability wrong on this one. I think we might need to make put the value up a bit because I think it's it's not going to be worth enough money. So here, here's the thing: put it into free build, play it through work out what the profit level is with no upgrades and then you can use that to kind of gauge obviously there's a bit of randomness on where your first start in cure happens um, but it will give you a very good indicator uh, and then once that upgrades we'll have to change it to uh, 16 oh my god this is so stupid oh one two three four five six seven eight nine did I do my maths right? But, you know, I hope you get this, guys. It's kind of cool, isn't it? You can add your own things. You could remove all of those current effects and make your, your own ones. One thing to watch out for, it will break the splash screen unless you go in and edit the splash screen to re to remove all of the effects. Um, that's something I'm going to fix in an update, but if you want to remove all the current effects, um, you are going to have to do some special jiggery pokey with the splash screen. Um, that's kind of a bit harder. I'm not going to try and explain how to do that in this level, in this video. If you can, uh, do it. If you can't, then just add new ones for now, you know? Okay. Oh my god, I used dissolvers. I meant evaporators. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, this is painful. Oh, this is painful. Oh, how long have you guys known this? How long have you guys been sitting there telling me I'm an idiot while I rabbit on about why am I even doing this? I forgot I added a delete tool. <laughs> oh, God, I feel like that time when I live streamed and I made this howler of a mistake and while I was just kind of like going on about Oh, there's this really cool thing you can do in the game. Ah, I'm an idiot. 
How many do I need again? Jesus. I'm not even sure if this is going to fit in. So, you know, it might not be the best idea in the world to, uh, to try and make osteoporosis uh, medicine when you don't have anything else. Um, you know, maybe I get change the concentrations a little bit. Uh, although I imagine this would be quite a good line once you upgrade your evaporators and dissolvers. In fact, we'll do that. We'll do that in this video. It's a little bonus. We'll, we'll, let's get a load of research points. And then we'll, we'll see what the effect is once we upgrade our evaporators and dissolvers. Uh, one more. Oh dear. It's going to be hard to fit in. Okay. You know the other thing that kind of uh, doesn't help is the fact that this uh, cure is full of side effects. Oh no, look, that's actually worked out. <laughs> Alright, cool, let's go. Um, so, on free build mode, um, I guess you can check out the daily profit by just making sure you don't have any explorers uh, or researchers. You can also just go to the company tab and have a look at um, operating margin. Uh, it's probably better just to go with the daily profit. Um, Let's just hire a load more. Let's just get a load more upgrade points. And a new wonderful news. Oh, no, wait. You can just find the... Mm, just find the profit here. Right. So, not good. Yeah, that's at 100% demand. So, look. We've done our calculations wrong there. That's perfectly clear. We need to increase the value of this by at least 100, if not 150. Because um, it is just not worth doing. <laughs> oh, look at this. Twice effect. <laughs> What? That's weird. Um, I don't know why it hasn't put in... Os oh, I didn't... Uh, I forgot. Okay, so, you can tell I don't rehearse this. There is actually one extra file that you'll need to change. I'll quickly show you this once uh, after this. But, um, oh look, it's starting to make a profit now. Oh, uh, because it's, it's C+. Let's just see the effect of having um, dissolver and evaporator upgrades. Okay, so we've got this up to an 8.8, which is kind of doable. 16.16 16 is pretty hard. Uh, and just see where the current profit goes. Um, that will increase. Because we have a lot of these. Um, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that should increase the profit by 30 times however many upgrades I got. Um, so 30 times 4. So that's quite a lot actually. Yeah. Should increase the profit by 120. Yeah, it's oh sorry I keep forgetting. Of course you can just click on this. Oh we gotta wait. That's it. We gotta actually wait for one of these to make it all the way through. That's the problem. So each one of these is gonna be a little bit better. So current profit hunt minus... Well. It'll go up. So that's an inter this is an interesting cure. So maybe I shouldn't increase the value by too much. Because actually, it's, um, once you get your upgrades, the profit's going to go up an awful lot. Uh, because you can, you can do it with so many of these. An alternative is to do it with autoclaves and coolers, which are actually very efficient in terms of concentration change, uh, but less efficient in terms of space generally. Well, not necessarily. You just have to have two of them. Um, so that's very interesting. Look at that. Current profit up to 100. Like, look, like, 100 profit is by no means worth all the effort we've just done for a level 3 cure. But, um, I think if we increase this value by maybe 100 or so, I think there could be room for this. You know, I think, I think it could be quite an interesting addition. So, um, there we go. That gives you an idea of, um, modding. Stay with me for one sec. I'm going to hop out of this game and I will show you, um, one more thing that we need to add in order to fix this um, so that it has a good suggested name. Back in a sec. Okay, so we're back at the desktop um, and I made a little mistake earlier. So if we go back to the game data folder, uh, we actually do need to keep uh, not names, it's drug names that we need to keep. So I'm going to take a copy of that and include this. Now drug names is um, required to give suggested names to your drugs once they're sold. So what we need to do is, I'm going to do the same old thing, I'm going to copy the ones from Relaxants. So we've got antihistamine, insomnia and anxiety, we're going to copy those, scroll to the end, add the comma, put them in, remove the comma, 
Um, and then we're going to, again, copy our IDs across. So we've got anti-inflammatory. Oops, arthritis. And osteoporosis. Um, now, this drug names one works a little bit differently. You actually have a number of um, endings which are automatically randomized. You can add a type. So uh, I think for these three, they're going to be... Um, probably going to be the second one, this reducer. Because um, you don't want things like Punisher and Bane. They don't really seem very good. So let's go for Reduce. So we're going to set the end type to Reduce for all three of these. Um, I'm going to add a comma here. This is just going to be something you're going to have to get used to with JSON, okay? You, you, whenever you've got a list, and here you've actually got a... Um, not always a list, actually. Whenever you've, you've got some, uh, some values inside another object... So these, basically just go and read up how JSON notation works, okay? Because it's, it's silly me for me to do a tutorial on JSON notation. Um, just watch out, basically. I've got a comma on the end of this one, comma on the end of that one, um, and no comma on the end of this one because it's the last one in the list. Um, and then we've got this one, reduce, reduce, reduce. The names, if you've got an end type, then what you're saying with these names is you're given the beginning of it. So I'm actually just going to keep it simple and just write arthritis. Um... Um, or maybe we have one like joint joint pain. Uh, so it will be it will, and the game will automatically randomise this and it will say you know for example joint pain decreaser, joint pain reliever, joint pain mate, um, and then we do the same for osteoporosis. So osteoporosis, um, uh, bone porous bone mate porous bone reliever um you get the idea and then anti-inflammatory will write inf inflammation oh god my spelling is awful uh, double m's uh, and inflame you know what i mean okay <laughs> and i think i'm gonna save that and I've probably done that right. I'm not going to bother testing it because this vlog's going on forever. Um, and but there we go. So yeah, if you want to add effects, you need both of these drug names and effects. Apologies for the slight uh, mishap there, but you get it. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.